at what to do when you're losing in position, right side versus right side. Okay, right side, right side, classic. His hand is higher than my hand. I'm uh, definitely losing in position here. Okay, rotate, right? My hand's low, his hand is high. I can't go solo. It's very dangerous. He could turn throw on me. Try to do that way. <laughs> right? Ah, this is going to be very powerful. Not so powerful for me. Okay, so what to do in this position? My hand's lower, his hand's high. I put a little bit of tension, it's very difficult for me to apply force here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my chin over his hand and bring my weight over this hand over here. Okay? It's to neutralize all his attacks going in this direction. Right? So I put my chin over the hand, neutralize his power grip, and then I'm going to let go here and slide down to the lower sleeve. Okay? Once I do so, I could sort of return. And now there's a lot of tension on this hand, okay? At the same time, David's probably gonna be pushing down on this arm, right, into my body, so I'm gonna use that to bring him forward and then cut the hand here. Now, I have a nice coaching situation here, okay? Losing position, right, dangerous, so I need to neutralize this arm with the chin over the hand. The only thing that's gonna be available for him is to slide to this direction, right, hitting him with the side of the that's something that can have to potentially watch out for, but I can anticipate it. I know it's coming. Hand over the chin, slide down. I come up, I look to break this hand, but I want to make him think about this arm. If he's not doing anything with this arm, arm fine, I might go start attacking the hand. A lot of times I'm going to be pushing this hand down. Release. Hand. Attack. 